Oh my god, I forgot about that. My crafting table's now... <laughs> I was like, where did my crafting table go? Um, I'm gonna make some more sticks. I'm gonna shove that down right here. And then we need to get started on making all this. So we're gonna go... I'm gonna make... This one big thing of water. We're gonna go to here. Actually, you know what? I had a better way of doing this. So I don't know the radius of like the water covering the area. I do know what you could do is so go one, two, the right here. Oh, hey, that, that's very comforting, how the zombie nearly just walked in here. Did he, did he drop something good? Nope, I thought he dropped something. But he didn't. Okay, so that's like that, and then we, oh, we need iron. Oh, great. Quest for iron begins, because we have nothing... So we'll show that in there. Oh, we need to set home. So we're going to go and put it right here. Set. There we go. That way we can come back here. And then we need to make sure... Let's make another pick real quickly. Ah, oh, great. Forget it. I'm going to pick. Uh, anything else? Let's make some boots. Just got to stay. Got to keep your feet warm. Ah, oh, great, we already have boots. I didn't realize that we already had boots. Wait, are there any kits? Oh, there's a food kit. Um, we don't need food, but that'll be helpful. Alright, so we're gonna build just a little mine shaft. Probably right here. Does not have a house. Okay, good for you. You do not have a house. Neither do I. I just have a plot of unused farmland, I swear. Every single time I look up, that door makes a noise and someone's trying to barge into the room. Maybe they're looking for the dogs. Two of the dogs are in here asleep. Shoot, I didn't realize this. The sign is not protected. Someone could literally break in and steal all of my stuff after they destroy the sign. Whoa, almost fell in there. Um, that literally... Some iron at the bottom there. Oop. There is iron right there, though. Come on, please be six. Alright, we got eight. So we're good for right now. I can keep going down, though do a little bit. I don't want to be gone too long because we're close to spawn and we've got something valuable. Not really. We just got a chest full of probably junk that I'm really for some reason overprotected about. Oops. 
we're just going to cover... No, we'll leave that. There's a giant opening here. Uh, this had nothing in it, though, so it's completely useless. Well, we're going to go smelt this. And hopefully, I didn't bring the shovel with me. And stop talking about Marconium. Whoever the heck he... Whoever this Mark guy who made Marconium up, you're really ruining my night. I've heard your stupid little periodic table element mentioned like 50 times. Oh. I got a way to solve this. That works. I bet you nobody's really done that before. Uh, patent pending, everybody. My new, my new way of protecting goods. All right, so we're gonna get a bucket, and then I know that little lake nearby. Oh, are there any other lakes nearby that I could? Just like borrow water from. Oh, we got some snow. Maybe we can melt the snow on the mountain. Ooh, ooh, there's a little lake right there. Follow, see you in GTA. Oh, they're going to GTA together. Now the server has GTA, because it's like a hub server, so it's got GTA, factions, kingdoms, which I want to do kingdoms, but I think I've already joined a kingdom on here and I've done some stuff. I think that may have been another server, though. I kind of did something I really wish I didn't on there. Like, I was with this one kid, and he had this kingdom. It was really great and everything, but the problem was this kid didn't know what he was doing. He was more interested in making this cool kingdom than in making a kingdom that was well defended. And he was rude to people, wouldn't let them into, the, into our kingdom at first, and made them really angry. So they got angry at him and everything, and yeah. Uh, here's what basically happened. One of my favorite things of all time with that kid is I told, we, we staged a fight and I was like, you know what, I'm leaving. Because there was this one one kingdom that we... The reason we were together is we hated this one kingdom. Because we joined this one kingdom, and they kicked us out and stole all of our stuff. So, well, they, well, they killed us and stole all of our stuff in it. And I was a miner. So you have, like, different roles. So since I was a miner, like, the owner of the kingdom was like, Yeah, I really want some miners in there. So, one of, like, his... Admin people kicked me out of the kingdom, killed me, stole all my stuff. You get the whole shebang. Luckily for me, I stored all of my valuables in an ender chest in case something like that did happen. But I managed to join up with this kid, give him all my valuables in like the Ark Kingdom, and we staged the fight in chat. And then I was like, "Hey," I messaged him and went, "Hey, I'm sick of." I think the guy's name is like Lucas, or some with numbers. It's like, hey, I'm sick of Lucas bossing me around and being so stupid, and I don't want, I don't want to be in this this faction anymore. Uh, please, can I join your fac your kingdom? And he's like, sure. I was always, I was looking for a miner to help out and mine some stuff around the kingdom. So I was like, oh my god, yes, he fell for the bait. So, I immediately join, and he's, and I teleport to the little, like, home base that he's built. So it's a nice little castle and everything. And I don't do anything to vandalize it. I just, I just go straight for the chest of all the valuable diamonds and stuff. Steal all the diamond tools and everything. Leave, and he go, and then I TP to spawn, leave the kingdom, and then I give it all to, the, to our great, my great friend Lucas, and he go and he just doesn't even realize I stole everything. He just goes, "Oh, you left? Well, sucks to be you. You're the one who's losing all the the power or honor or whatever." Because I had like a certain system of like you lose like renown or something. 
depending on how, depending on like your actions. So leaving a kingdom will get you to lose Ronan or whatever. So I left and I lost that stuff, and then I joined the kingdom back and gave them all the really good loot, and I stole like all their diamonds, which I felt really proud of. But then I realized that this kid, we had a base before, and we got raided completely. So we, so we were starting with like barely anything. I just started with the stuff I had in my inventory. Him with the stuff he had. He had this one enemy who kept going after us. So, I mean, it, everything wasn't the best as it could have been while we were playing. So I made the executive decision while everybody was offline to, uh, even though I built this really nice basement storage area with a lava roof, just in case anyone tried to, like, raid us, they would get stuck in all the lava, and they'd die. I had it all really well sketched out and planned, and the place looked pretty amazing. I was like, you know what? This place... It would be a good place for someone to raid. Someone would make off with a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like... I was like, I... I don't want to be a part of this kingdom anymore. So... I raided my own kingdom. I went in and I destroyed a lot of the stuff. Flattened it out. Left lava everywhere. Just bucketed up lava that I was spilling into the roof before. Spilled it all over the ground, blew everything up with TNT, did everything I could, stole all the valuable stuff I could, and it's just like, wow, I'm an awful person. I think I just betrayed a, like a, thir probably like a 12 year old. This was like a couple months ago, probably. Yeah, I mean, it was part of the game. He wasn't active. He didn't know what he was doing. I feel... I, I mean, I told him that I just got... raided anyways. I mean, he was inactive for a couple days, so... I was like, you know what? Odds are, he's not coming back. Let me just deal with this while I can. So I did. I only have two seeds. Time to get some more. 